and welcome to Strings and More episode 19. I am Shanna of Lamb Strings Yarn. This be Jamie. I be Jamie of uh, Leslie Jean Knits. Of Leslie Jean Knits. That's right. <laughs> uh, this is a podcast about knitting and uh, spinning again. Yeah. Yay. Some sewing, some chatter, yarn, all that stuff. Um, so thanks for joining us. If it's your first time, then welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, then thanks for coming back. Um, we are, thanks for coming back. Always thanks for coming thanks back. Thanks for watching us. Yeah, thanks for watching us. <laughs> um, we were in, at Rhinebeck last week, uh, and we had a lot to talk about in very short, uh, it was like a 25 minute podcast last week. It was like really shorty. Yeah. And, uh, just like really way back. So, um, this week we are going to, uh, probably show you the same things in a better light and, uh, we'll a little talk bit, a bit more yeah, about it. Yeah. A little bit more description. So, yes, social media. Uh, you can find me on Ravelry as Lambstrings, and you can find my uh, beautiful hand-dyed yarns at lambstrings.etsy.com, which I have a shop update, so I will show you guys. And um, you can find me as Lambstrings Yarn on Twitter, Instagram, and Periscope. You got a lot. I have a blog <laughs> also um, that I've been neglecting. So, if you'd like to see my uh, current list of available colorways, then you can go to my blog at lambstrings.blogspot.com. Jamie! <laughs> it's my turn. I don't it's have a Jamie. Much. Um, so, you can find me on Ravelry um, as Jamie M. And you can find me on Instagram as Leslie Jean Knits. And I also have an Etsy shop open under the same name, Leslie Jean Knits, yeah. where I sell yarns. That's right. <laughs> go down there. Um, Go take a look at some of Jamie's yarns because they're absolutely beautiful. Oh, thank you. I share this yarn too. Some um, more well, yarn. We always forget to mention this, but we have a rivalry group. Did you say that? I never say that. <laughs> I know we. I, I, I never said it. Ever like, talk about say that already? The, you know what? It's called. We're gonna. It's like I'm like. It's the damn Ravelry group. I'm always like, that damn Ravelry group. <laughs> we have one, so join us. That's where, um, yeah. if we're having, like, um, a knit-along, we have the chatter threads in there and the FO threads in there. If we ever give away anything, it will be in there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, join it. And you can also find show notes um, to mm -hmm. the episodes, the current episodes there. Um, I usually try to put them in the bar underneath as well so either place either place um the rivalry group serves quite a few purposes so go down there and join we have a lot of nice people who chatter in there it's nice <laughs> it is nice so our weeks were i, I think we, we have like three weeks of, yeah we haven't had um we haven't had a podcast a regular like, podcast yeah like a like a yeah, we haven't had it in a long time. I mean, last week, obviously, if you were with us, hopefully um, you got to see, like, we just, like, rushed through everything. It was a quick Rhinebeck episode. It was a yeah. quick Rhinebeck episode. I feel like, and, like, the past week has just been, like, coming down from that high. Yes. Basically, like. <laughs> um, and then the week before that, Shanna had a, a yarn show. I did. And, and a, we, yeah, there were a couple festival of things she was spending at. Yes, yeah, so I did the uh, Brooklyn um, Kings County Fiber Festival on the 8th or something, the week before Rhinebeck, and that went very well, so um, I, I, I so love um, meeting my customers. There were a few people that came in that had bought my stuff, um, so I just so enjoy um, really meeting everybody. It's, and, it's fun and, meeting people. And yeah. there were like two people who were like, I watch your podcast, and can I fangirl? And I was like... Yeah, you really fan girl. Um, so, do it. Somebody took a picture with me. I felt like mm -hmm. famous. Oh. I was like, oh my god, I'm famous. <laughs> and Jamie wasn't there, so she couldn't be famous with me. But no, I, I was going to be there, but then my husband got swamped with work, and my son ended up his best friend's birthday party yeah. was that day. Yeah. So I took the two kids and we went to. You a know what? It rained. Party. So even if even if you came, you would have been like, it's raining. Mm -hmm. Um. But all in all, it was really, um, it was very nice. So thank you to um, anybody who came out to um, support and to show your uh, lamb strings yarn love. Um, I really appreciate it. So thank you. I feel like I just want to go back to Rhinebeck. <laughs> it was so much fun. It was too much fun. I and loved it. That was so nice. We're on like this permanent like uh, yarn slash podcaster slash fall foliage high. Like where we're like, hi. Although the full foliage is to us now, too. Our, our trees of. are getting colors. Yeah, yeah, but they look dirty. 
Oh, no, it looks so nice up there. It's like bright orange. It's one it, every year though. It's bright orange, and it's the prettiest tree ever. Rhinebeck is so beautiful. It was beautiful. So, anyway, um, what do we have this week? Um, well, we should mention um maybe the coupon codes first. Yes. Do you want to do that? Yes, let's do that because we failed to mention that on our last podcast. Yes. The last mm-hmm. actual podcast we had a uh, giveaway. Um, mm-hmm. our uh, strings oh, and actually. more. Uh, middle long uh, ended, so we had two prizes to give away, and one was from Stitching Plaza, George Ann. Um, she and sent I us. Actually, I have one of her bags yes. right here. She sent us three bags. Thank you again, George Ann. Absolutely beautiful. Um, so, so we did give one away. I kept one, and Janie kept one. And there's her info. Yes. For you guys out there. Right um, she sent us a. Uh, Coupon code. Yes. Good which, until um, October 31st, I think. Yeah. So, um, and we didn't mention it. So we would like to mention that to you now and extend that to you now. So, if you need no, more. Hers, November 1st. November 1st. So, stitching pauses is until November 1st. It's okay. November 1st. So we're going to put that at the bottom here. All right. So we got a coupon code from Stitching Plaza. So at stitchingplaza.com, you could get 15% off a minimum purchase of $15 through November 1st using the code STRING15. Yes, and we'll put that at the bottom here so that you guys can see it. And um, so, yeah, I mean, if you're interested, if you there, she's got some beautiful bags um, and drawstring bags. Yeah, the drawstring bags are cool. Just yeah. gorgeous and perfect size. So make sure you're going down there and taking advantage of that because... It's worth it. She's totally nice worth picks. it. Yeah. So thank you again, George Ann. We apologize for not mentioning it the first day. We were just so excited to be giving things I away. Don't know what I don't know what our problem was. We were like, oh my god, like all the things, and then. <sighs> Sorry. So also, um, we got a bag from stitchingyoubags.etsy.com. Yes. yes. Um, and she also sent us a coupon code for um, I think it was also fifteen percent off. Um. SM Podcast 15 is yes. the code, and that's through October 31st. Yes. So thank you to the two of you. I think I did put that in the last one on the bottom. Yeah. Um, but we were so, we, we were just like, blah, 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 and we forgot to say all that stuff. We so, completely forgot. Yeah. So take advantage of those coupons, guys. Yeah. Um, all right. So we got that. Uh, we so did. We yes. Wanted to make because sure we, we were like, oh, my God, time. did we really do that? We really did do that. We wanted to make sure we didn't forget again. Yeah. Um. You want to talk about our weeks? How was your week? Two weeks, three weeks. I know. They've, they've been okay. I mean, it's, you know. Yeah, they've been okay. All the Rhinebeck stuff. Yeah. And then um, we had some uh, Rhinebeck sweaters that we were supposed to have done, and we didn't, if you were watching last time. Nope. So I worked on that stuff. Um, we got close. I pretty much, like, took the week off from dying. Like, I died a little bit. Um, but I pretty much was like, I need, like... I just needed the week. Break. Need yeah, I just needed the week. It was this is such a busy time of year for knitting and yarn and and you know it's fall festivals and so I just needed the the break. But I will be back to it um, tomorrow. Actually, mm-hmm. tomorrow I have a lot to dye. Yay! Yeah, I know. I'm excited. I miss it, but I needed the break. So how was your week? Ah, uh, good and not so good. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, well, I finished some knitting I needed to get finished, so I got that done. I did do actually, good knitting weeks. Yeah, but it's funny, I didn't do much knitting this week, but when I did, finished things, so yeah. it's like, it, it was good. Um, ordered more yarn to dye, so I'm getting yeah. a new yarn basin. Uh, so that's exciting. I know, I really <laughs> love that. And Jamie's getting a good one, too. Yeah. She told me what it was, and I was like, oh, yes, that's good. <laughs> Um, I made a purchase for me, mm-hmm. uh, so that will be on the next podcast because it hasn't arrived yet. Um, what else? Uh, you said good and not so good. Oh, yeah, not so good. I found out one of my friends has cancer. <gasps> oh. Yeah, the big C. So, huh? That's not good. That's not good. She, she's been sick for a very long time, and like... No. Yeah. <laughs> Am I going to have to cut this out? No, t- I won't. I won't mention her name okay. or anything. I'm not gonna cry. You know, cause I knew about it. Like she told me, um, her doctors were pessimistically optimistic, meaning they figured she had cancer, but they had to run all the tests and confirm it. Right. So we kind of already figured. Yeah, but so we were both kind of like then we were both kind of weepy, but when she actually. You know, she's she's a strong person. She's she really, like, yeah, I'll get yeah, through we're it, whatever. Gonna, we're, we're not going to name drop, but, um, yeah. 
but she's okay. Um, she's happy they know what it is now. Yeah, you know. So well, she'll that yeah. Her. Now yeah. you can. Now we move into a different type of dealing with it. Mm-hmm. You know, which is I mean, once you, it's probably done with not knowing what it is. You know that the unknown. Yeah. You know, is a different kind of. Anyway, um, let's talk about FOs because. I feel like our acquisition section is going to be, like, out <laughs> of control. Yeah, it's going to be a little crazy um, today. You know, I mean, amongst the, the stuff that we had uh, showed you last week that we had at Ryan Beck, um, we did, we'd acquired uh, more things. That's not a bad thing. Because, yeah. No, no. <laughs> um, we have, like, no self-control, no yeah, willpower. They can't see it right now. I'm looking around us. It's, like, covered I, all right. in things. <laughs> not, not like obviously you can't see it, but um, it never looks like this. No, this is like a little it, crazy today. <laughs> so you'll see. Yeah, <laughs> you'll we'll show you'll it all to you. see. Oh my gosh! Um, it's like where the hell do we start? All right, FOs. Okay, so, FOs. Um, shall we talk about our sweaters that we didn't have finished? For yeah. Us? <laughs> um, last week. Uh, you saw, and I, we did talk about our non-existent Ryan Beck sweaters, that um, Jamie swore that we were going to have sweaters done in a month. I said no. We did both get so close, though. We, we got did. so close. We were this close. So, so close. I said, all right, so Jamie said, we're, the sweater, we'll have sweaters in a month. And I said, no, that's BS. We can't do that. Then it quickly turned around into me being like, I think I can do it. And then Jamie was like, I can't do it. Like, yeah. she can't do it. So I was like, all right. So it kept going back and forth. Um, and we got to Ryan Beck. <laughs> Obviously, we uh, did not finish them. Mm-hmm. We were very, very close, as Jamie said. I think we I had, had We like, had a few people like, did you finish the sweater? A few people were like, like, you nope. finished? And we were like, no. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't them. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Let's get something perfectly straight. If you're a frequent watcher of our podcast, then you already know this about us. Or I have been able to figure this out. Um, and if you're new, then we're just going to tell you now. We say a lot of shit. <laughs> we say we're going to do so much shit. We're like, we're going to, I'm going to do 30 pairs of mittens for a middle long. I'm going to start this. Oh, I'm going to have a sweater done by Ryan Beck. Oh, I'm going to, how many, uh, we have showed you so many projects that we were going to do that you have not seen us do. Nope. We kind of, we, we, I feel like we overestimate our abilities. Oh, so <laughs> constantly. Highly. <laughs> yeah. Overestimate. Like, we're going to do this. And like, we're always, we get excited about things. Like, we're going to do this. And then we never cast them on. You know, okay. So mm-hmm. we want to apologize if you guys like were watching in the beginning and you're like, they said they were going to do like six other things. Um, sorry. But like, we can't. And we get really mm-hmm. passionate and things take precedence. Um, so, like, I, I got really excited about a certain sweater, and then I never even started it. I started, like, two other things, and then, uh, poured my passion into those things. I feel and like I, that happens with everyone, though. You get excited about everybody? something, you buy the yarn, and then, like, it takes a week to get there, and by then, you're, oh, I cast this on. I cast this hat <laughs> on, just because I couldn't have nothing in a week. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know if that's a thing that everybody does, or if that's just a thing that unorganized people mm. do. Cause like I'm, I'm sure quite a few of us are unorganized, and we all do that. <laughs> I, I've seen a lot of knitters say like, "I'm going to start this project," and then they start it, and then they finish it, and then they start another project. And I'm like, "How did you do that? <laughs> we need to learn those skills. How did you do that? <laughs> that is magic to me." Um. So we didn't have sweaters for Ryan Beck because. Well, there we was wore we wore handed sweaters, we not did. the ones we said we were gonna finish. Mm-hmm. Correct. We wore old ones um, that were broken in, so they looked good on. So uh, they you were handed sweaters. You can't words. judge us. Uh, <laughs> you can't. You can't judge us. But to show you how freaking close I was to finishing the stupid sweater, right? Okay, Rhinebeck was Saturday. Mm-hmm. I think I finished this sweater and had it blocking by Tuesday. I needed like two more days, like to actually work on it. Um, but I did finish it, so... And it's so nice. And I did I modify it. it. Um, and it's my favorite color. It's Jamie's favorite color. <laughs> so I finished the Greystone Cardigan by Sarah Cook. Uh, I did it... Ooh, it's showing up. It's looking a little washed out, but that's okay. I did it in um, Lambstrings Utopia DK in the Venery colorway. And then I did some color work because... 
I can't just read a pattern and do it. So I put some color work in the sleeves. Uh, this is also Lambstrings Utopia DK in the toasted colorway. So it's like an Aran. It's got a little bit of like cream and brown speckles in it. Um, and I did a little bit of fair eye. I'm, I'm holding this like such crap. I really should have put like a hanger on it. Maybe I'll just put it on. I did some color work in the pockets to match the color work in the sleeves. And I am super happy with it. I did a size extra small. Uh, and then when I blocked it, I actually, um, I pulled like the length a lot out of it. So um, the sleeves come up to there, which is perfect. You guys, this thing is like perfect. Maybe I'll, let me just, I'll do this. Yes. I'm not going to stand, right? So it goes just underneath my tush. You can see right there. That's my butt. Mm -hmm. And the pockets are here. It's my butt. <laughs> just, if you weren't sure, then that's my butt. It's right there. Um, so yeah, I'll stand up all the way, I think. Right? Yeah, you can see. Yeah. So yeah, it goes right underneath the buttocks area. <laughs> and the pockets have this. I didn't do um, the color work all the way through. I should have. Uh, now that I'm wearing it and I was sewing it all together, I was like, I should have just done the entire interior pocket white. Um, there are my uh, horrible uh, strand stranded uh, knitting work there on the inside. But yeah, I also put um, some fair isle on the sleeve. I did a couple of stripes. That's four, uh, four rows of the contrasting color by two rows of the main color. And then I did about five inches on the sleeve here. I did the um, twisted pearl pattern that's on the back of the sweater for the sleeves. Boom! And the pockets. I Maybe. am happy, happy, happy with this. And it doesn't look like camo. And it doesn't look like camo, which is great. So which I you think were so worried about. I was terrified. I was pretty terrified. Um, but this will be my Christmas sweater. So I'll wear this, I'll wear this to the fam's house uh, at good. Christmas because it kind of looks Christmassy. So, yeah, I don't think I'll be wearing it with a black shirt, though. Maybe I'll wear it with a white shirt. I don't know. I don't love it with the black shirt. But um, you can see it's it's close to being off the shoulder a little bit. So I don't know what that's about. But I probably could have done a little bit longer um, on the band, which I think... If I, I feel did like this again, I would. Band, though, you're just like, I want to be done. I want to be done. You, done. you are. You do. You're like, okay. Because that's what I said. I was like, okay, I'm going to do the band. I'm going to do it two inches. I think it calls for like an inch and a half. And once I got to an inch and a half, I was like, I want done. First of all, I want it to be done. <laughs> Second, um, done with rib. <laughs> well, you know, it's when the button band could be too big, you know, and there's no buttons on it. So I didn't want it to be so big that you were like, where's the buttons? But I finished. Yay. I'm very, very happy. I love it. Toot. And love it's it soft. So I nice. blocked it. Um, you could see I should have kind of... So you could see where I, where I blocked it there. Just yeah. steam that out. But very happy, very happy with my mods. And um, I Can could I totally knit this again. I don't know that I will, but I could totally it do it. It come out really soft when I blocked it. Thanks. I did alternate skeins. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Um, and you know what? It didn't really pull to begin with anyway. So, but I did. I did alternate the skeins. And I got through four. Um, and four I, skeins? I got four skeins of the Venery colorway. And then I used like half of one skein for um, toasted. But I have an extra skein. So we'll talk about that extra skein. <laughs> we'll talk about that extra skein later. My plans for that. That's my FO. Yay. Yay. All right. So my sweater, it's not quite an FO. The knitting is all done. Um, I just have to sew that baby all together because it needs to be sewn together. Oh, that's a different project. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to talk about this because she, um, I noticed this when Shanna was over. Um, so here is the body. Look at that colorway, you guys. Oh, that's the inside. Yeah, that's the inside. This is the back of it. Look at that. And then the pockets are down there. Did I? I don't know that I. Well, I think I saw it when you were knitting it, but I don't think I realized that there was a that's rib. The rib on the back. That there was yeah. a rib on the back. 
I kind of like that. I should have done that. It doesn't on no, the side, but I should have done that here. It's just on the back there. Yeah. Oops. Well, because it, it tapers it. <laughs> it tapers it without doing yeah. any, like, um, uh, shaping. So, I got the body all done, and um, I did not stripe the colors. I just knit straight from one mole at a time. And it worked out, thank God. Jamie has that kind of luck. <laughs> like, I don't, you know. The only thing it did is because this is a little section, is that it kind of came out more striped yeah. on that little bit of the front. Which is not really care. So what? Um, so, as you can see, there is no um, button band around it. Button band, it has no buttons. <laughs> this is how she had you do it. You have to knit the band separate. Why would you sew just it knit on? the band? Because I talked about it. It goes in the it same with... direction. No. Yeah. Oh, like why wouldn't you? Why like, wouldn't you do just it continue... while knitting? Yeah. You say? I don't know why she did it like that. But you know something, it has a certain look to it when you sew it on. Because I was talking to my mom about. I was talking to my mom about it. Like, well, why didn't you just do it like that? If you look at the picture, do I have some picture? I have some picture. Like, it gives it a certain look. And I was like, well, I kind of like that. See how it looks? I don't know. I don't know. Can you tell? <laughs> That's such a bad picture, too. My printer was do dying. Do you see it? Do you see it? I feel like it needs to be sewn on. So I feel like I, was I like, would be like, I don't want, I would yeah. just knit it. I'd be like, I don't want to do it. Well, see, I was like, I was going back and forth. And then I was like, I'm just going to do it the way she tells you to do it. I'll sew it on. I'm probably going to want to shoot myself. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> there's no yeah, I'm not going to say anything. I am not going to say anything. <laughs> I have total faith in you. I think up up here, like, in the neck area, it would be a big deal. Like, to, to sew it with it. Like, mm -hmm. then you would have to, like, figure it out, like, past the shoulders, back yeah. of the neck. Well, you could that would drive me nuts. added, like, a few inches. Like, you know, and then sewn it on. But I did it the way it told, told me to do it. I've got my sleeves. Here's Such one a sleeve. Good little student. I need this on my body. I know. I listened to the instructions. <laughs> my sleeves. So I just have to. This sew yarn those is on. like fabulous. It is. This is Malabrigo Rios. Mm. Um, I did not say that. This is in the Nimbus colorway. This is squishy. And it's a nice gray. Look. What? I want a sweater. I want a whole sweater like this, like bunchy, Boop. like that. So this week I'm going to sew it all together and hopefully we'll have it blocked by next podcast if I don't sh shoot myself trying to sew on that button band. She's going to do it. <laughs> you have to do it. I will do it. I did mine. <laughs> oh, and I have a whole scheme left to learn. Then you're going to make a hat. Probably. Or something. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Enough for a hat. Oh, and... Like a skein and a quarter. Yeah. You actually have an FO. I do have an FO. Yeah. But... Oops, hello. What is that? No, no, go in. <laughs> no, no. No, no. Well, do you have another FO? No, how can I have another FO? I don't this know. is a sweater. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shannon, you just had a little brown of one sleeve. Shush. Sure, sure. I know. <laughs> I took the week off. I did the whole sweater. I did the whole sweater. <laughs> How dare you say that I had time? I um, I st Okay, so I started watching. Um, what's that show? I always want to say Overwatch. That's not what it is. That's why I asked that. Um, um, like Highlander, but Outlander. Not. There you go. On Stars on Demand because we have that, and um, that just it, like took up the whole week. Mm. We didn't talk about what we were watching or anything. No. Let's talk about that at the end. We're already okay. in here. Even yeah. though I just mentioned it, I think I'm rethinking. Let's we'll put mention it at the, that end. At the end. We're going to talk about it. Right, so I TV. do have another FO. Um, it is a hat, and I have talked about it on here. We do pom pom. We do pom pom. It's called the pom pom. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I stink at making pom poms. I feel like this one actually came out decent. Yeah, it did. I'm going to stick at making it's, it's a pom pom. Oh. It's, f <laughs> it's yarn. So this is my it's another original pattern. Yay. Yeah, and it looks great on you. Thank you. Uh, let's See? talk about um, talk about your hat. My hat. 
Um, I called this one Lost Boys because that's the name of the song I was listening to while Good. I started knitting <laughs> it. I was like, oh, I like that. So it's called Lost Boys. Um, it's out of Malabrigo Rios because I had some left over from um, a sweater I knit my daughter. So this is the Plomo colorway. It's a gray with like some hints of lavender in it. Like How nice different purple. is that from the Nimbus? Um, the Nimbus is more gray. Hello, where'd you go? The Nimbus is more of a darker... Let me talk about Jamie's, like, uh, intensely large bowling bag, yarn bag. <laughs> that I got at, um, Barnes & Noble. No, you Borders. got it at Borders. Borders. Which doesn't exist doesn't anymore. Exist anymore. Too bad, so sad. Barnes & Noble is so... exactly the same thing. And they're very similar. <laughs> they <laughs> like... are very similar. The Nimbus uh, is more uh, of a charcoal okay. warmer gray. With hints of purple. Uh, we buy the same colors. Yeah, we do. Like, this green Swish. <laughs> and cream is, like, really out of my comfort zone, which is why I was like, it's a Christmas sweater. This is a Christmas sweater. You can tell the difference. I'm more, like, charcoal. Kind of. Maybe you can't really tell that much of the difference. It is, they are very similar colorways. this, <laughs> too. And this. It's all about the gray. If you it's don't like gray. gray purple, then you can't watch this podcast because that's all you're going <laughs> to see. There's a lot of gray purple. It's like all you're going to see. Boop. Anyway, this hat is beautiful. Okay. You now, is this going to be a paid for pattern? Because It's going to be a free pattern. It's going to be a free pattern. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like knitters who have knit for at least a year could look at it and be like, I could just do that. <laughs> well, we're going to let you guys know when this is available through Ravelry or however Jamie's going to put it up for free. Um, I'll put it through Ravelry. Because... Then... So yeah, can you see? Yeah, Ooh, it's, it's just like got a like nice a textured, textured, like diamond. Would you say that a texture. beginner could knit this hat? Oh, definitely. It's just knits and pearls. Yeah, knits and pearls. So yeah, probably it's a really very good. Easy, yeah, yeah a beginner's for, hat for beginner or um, like for somebody who's knitting in the round for the first time and who mm -hmm. wants to delve into knit and pearl stitches. This is probably a great hat for that. And, and it'll be yeah, like super beginner because even the top I didn't decrease. It's just. All she just pulled it. Shut. Yep. Yeah. I remember when you said you were like, I don't think I'm going to decrease it. I yeah, think because I'm just I was gonna trying pull. to figure out, like, I, I, I got to decrease it. I don't know how I wanted to do that. And, like, while it was on the needles, I just cinched it shut. And I was yeah. like, I like the way that looks. It's yeah. free. We'll just so, do it like that. If that kind of stuff scares you, then fear not. Yeah, fear not. It is just cinched yeah. shut with a real cute pump. And you can probably, I mean, not that I, I like the slouch on it. If you didn't want it that slouchy, you just don't knit it. Yeah, you just don't knit it for as, as long. tall. If you want it more slouchy, you just... It does have cool. a bit of a slouch here. on it, though, because I like the slouch. Well, and you know what? This this yarn, it doesn't, it's not, I'm not going to say stripes. It, it doesn't stripe. It's It has an effect. Stripey. I got some of it in my face. <laughs> um, it's kind of stripey, but then from back here, I know we're getting a little washed out, so I apologize. But that texture, it's so subtle and so beautiful. It just mm -hmm. does such a nice job with this yarn. I, nice I'm job, curious Jamie. to see how. Thank you. I'm curious to see how it would come out in like a a variegated or like really speckled. Probably really good. Because yeah, it's just a simple textured. We'll keep you guys posted. We will. Yeah, we're totally gonna keep you guys posted. I'll probably write it up this week and post it up by next Saturday. Yeah. Excellent. It's a bit, I was, I've been talking about this for like two months. <laughs> but, well, you know what? Again, other stuff on. gets in the way. Yeah. You know, our Rhinebeck sweaters that didn't happen got in the way. Yeah. It just happened, right? Yeah, yeah. But can we talk about real, real quick, um, Jamie's haircut? Oh, yeah. That she swears she's had for three weeks, but, like, how beautiful right she after, looks right um, now. So, aw, thank you. Yeah. So it's layered really nicely. The, the green looks fabulous. I cut it the it. day after episode 17. <laughs> put, your, put the hat on with it. Because, like, I think it just looks effing. Look at Jamie's little haircut with mm -hmm. the green and the hat and just how it falls on her face and it falls, like, a little bit like this. I love you so much. <laughs> You're funny. I love you. <laughs> I love you. Too. I have so many questions. <laughs> and they're all on girls. Oh, that's okay. All my questions are on girls. Because I have a man, and I don't need... I, that's fine. That's enough. You're done with that. <laughs> that's One enough. man is good. <laughs> that's enough. Girls are just so pretty. They are. They're lovely little creatures. Seth is pretty too. Sorry, Seth, if you're listening, you're pretty too. Very pretty. Yes, they're pretty. Um, okay, so I th that was our FOs. That was it for FOs, that right? That was it for FOs. Yep. What are you working on? Besides, well, you did your cardigan already. 
Jamie shows yeah, I their, talked about the cardigan. Her Rhinebeck cardigan. Which is done with the knitting, just needs to be sewed. Mm-hmm. Um, do, do, do. Okay, so what are you doing for our Strings and More Sweater Along? Ah, we did not talk about that. We didn't talk about that. So our Sweater Along got started on the 15th. The day we were at Rhinebeck. Yep. Yeah. Um, it's going to be running for two months, so until December 15th. So if you haven't started yet, you still have plenty of time. Um... I did, uh, we have a uh, chatter thread in our Strings and More Ravelry group for the sweater along. Um, I did just recently go in there and update the rules, even though it was a little late, but we were getting a lot of questions, so... Yeah, I, things we didn't think about. Things we, yeah. I, I don't know, I, I, our heads, our, the past two weeks have been elsewhere, so thank you for asking questions, we really appreciate that, um, and I do apologize if it was like a little late to get that stuff in there, but... What did I put in there? I didn't... I have no um, All right. Someone asked if they could do a T sweater. We said no. It's got to be um, at least three and a quarter. Yeah. Um, at least three quarter sleeves. Um, I feel... the the Yeah. The feeling is that short sleeves, even in heavy yarn, which you might um, consider a sweater, to, uh, it's really... A, that's really more of a t-shirt. Um, and, you know, I under, we understand that people are wanting to knit sweaters for the first time. Um, cardigans for the first time, um, but that's just something that we, that's a t-shirt. Um, oh, yeah, another thing, it could be buttoned cardigan, um, open cardigan, pullover, pullover, turtleneck, v-neck, fine. yeah, um, could have a hood, cropped, we don't care, listen, make something, a sweater that you've always wanted to make, um, but just make sure it's a sweater. Also, um, <laughs> it could be something you have started already, yes. um, as long as it's not more than 20% done. Yes, we will accept um, it. Um, that's, I feel like you. anything more than that is kind of unfair. Yeah, it's a little unfair, and um, we and we one hundred percent encourage you to double dip. If you are already doing a sweater for another cow, use it. Um, just make sure that you've started because it. I feel like I, I'm pretty sure there is another podcaster doing a sweater along. I think there is. I so who. use it, but it, it's being done. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, yeah, we want you guys to come out with something creative and wonderful that you're going to enjoy knitting and wearing. Um, Adult sized sweaters only. Yeah, no babies. <laughs> no, and by right by that we mean no baby sweaters. Um, if you're or making it for children sweaters, yeah. Um, if you're making an extra small, um, that's an adult size sweat. I don't wear adult adult size sweaters. Mm-hmm. Um, so obviously, you know, like a junior's will <laughs> work, but um, you know, baby cardigans they just little that's you not enough finish, people you could finish them like this we require more from you <laughs> um do not disappoint do us. not disappoint <laughs> us <laughs> somebody was really excited they said um they were gonna it was like a great excuse to do the madewell sweater which i really want to do um so that was really exciting because i want to see that and uh some featherweight cardigans people are still trying to get their featherweight yeah. cardigans in so yeah do those we want to see we i'm really excited I'm really excited. I, we're in the sweater bug mode anyway. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, I feel like once the weather's just getting, like, chilly, once there's chill yeah. in there. Although I'm saying that in this week, it has been crazy warm out. It was, like, 80 yeah. degrees. Yeah. There was 80 degrees one day. That's crazy. It's October. It's the end of we October. We broke a record, um, Long Island. We broke yeah. a record. That's um, no, no. It's yeah, supposed we're, to be we're, cold. <laughs> yeah, come on, fall. Come on, fall! I, I like I, I felt bad. I sent Caleb to school in a pair of jeans and a t shirt. I'm like, you should have been wearing shorts. <laughs> it's... People are all right. So my fiance uh, teaches music at a middle school, and he is has been talking about how crazy these people are. He's like, I think people just want to wear like people want their kids to wear their fall stuff. People bought their kids all of this fall clothes, and they're never going to get to wear it. He's like, these kids are coming to school in like warm clothes. He's like, and I just feel bad for them. Like, you could wear your tank top. You could still wear your tank top. It's hot out. Mm-hmm. Come on, fall. Anyway, what were we talking about? Our sweaters. Spiral along. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and one entry per person. That was our last rule. Yeah. Um, one entry per person because this is a large project. And um, some people can knit as quick as others. Some people can knit as quick as others. What? And some people work, you know, full-time jobs, and it's tough, so... You know, but yeah, I haven't set up an FO thread yet because um, I don't think that you'll, if you're finished already, then, ah, oh, we know. Uh, so yeah, there will be one. So get down there. We're really excited. We have prizes. We, we have do. things to just give away. <laughs> like, 
gifts for everybody. I feel like I'm just saying, like with the confetti, like ah, like gifts and for everybody. Gift, and a bag for you. And, and a bag, bag for you. you. And just, I don't have. I have stuff here that I can't show you. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're really excited. I'm excited to knit another sweater. So what are you knitting for this? I am knitting um, "Ready for Fall" by Isabel Kramer. And I have, which, which, where's the front? Not that you could really tell anyway. Oh yeah, Jamie and I are knitting very different <laughs> type of sweaters. So, this is the neck, and I got that much done. <laughs> it um, looks like it's going to fit good. I know, right? Look at it. It's because I haven't mushed up on the So, is it a little. yoke? It's a yoke that increases from the neck out, right? Yes. And then you were going to separate the sleeves yes. and then do the rest of it. And it's got some color work. It's got color work on the bottom. My first color work, um, knitwear. Which... You'll be fine with. Yeah. So it was shaped with short rows in the back so that, you know, the back is higher than the front. There we go. It's was like there that. any bust shaping? Or you haven't gotten there yet? I haven't gotten there yet. Okay. Yeah. This is just from there. Yeah. So um, I'm very close. I think I have a little bit more short row shaping in the back, and then I will be separating for the sleeves. So, yeah, right now it looks really, really teeny because they have it really mushed up well, on. It's all squished. Um, it's so squished on this. Like, I really need to get a bigger cable to put it on. Well, you're using um, the Knit Picks shorties, right? The Caspians? Yes. Yeah, I am. They're short. I want uh, to knit with these, like, so bad. I like them. I want to try them. Um, you were saying, right? You like it was weird for you, though? It was weird. It's weird. Um, I have um, I, The way I knit, though, I don't knit with all of my fingers grabbing the needle. Like so that. for me, it was very easy. Um, I had one pair of, like, clover, this is a, it's a whole mess in here, um, <laughs> but they're also short, but I'm, they're on 29s. What do you what do you going to be? This oh, was, this was going to be my mitts. I started these in the car for Rhinebeck because I wasn't sure I wanted to spend all that time on my sweater, um, but I have no intentions of doing anything else with, um, this. I mm -hmm. think I'm just going to rip it out. I just needed something. Something that was different. But I don't mind these. Are they shorter? What is going on here? I don't know. We are a mess. Are they, they are shorter. They're like a million times. They're like half the size. <laughs> half the size. I like working with them. So I don't mind these because they're not short. So I'm talking about nothing. But anyway, I'm doing it in the row and pure wool, DK. Um, I'm finding it's a bit scratchy, though. Um. So Jamie's uh, family and my fiancé and everybody are downstairs, and they're playing Overwatch, which is a, a role-play video game that they're obsessed with. Um, yeah, it's a first-person shooter. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a very nice game. Jamie loves it. I'm the only one in the house that doesn't play, uh, with the exception of Jamie's four-year-old daughter. <laughs> um, but... They play while we podcast because it keeps them busy and they're happy and nobody's looking for us, which is good. Mm -hmm. um, but Caleb uh, will sit and play for a long time, and then I don't. I, he's like he's got like seven year old energy that comes out of nowhere. So out of nowhere, he'll just like jump up from the chair and like ah, like <laughs> run, and then he goes back and sits down and then he does this thing like he has to expel <laughs> that like yes. piss and vinegar that he has like for a second, and then he and then he's good. And I believe that that's what that was. That's, that's, yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what that was. That was Caleb. He just like bumped into quick. the wall and then just like went back. It was funny. It was funny. This is the color color going to be sweater. In. My sweater. Jamie's sweater. Ah, so Can green, we talk of about course, this, please. My favorite color. Yeah. Um, and a different it shamrock. Yes, or clo shamrock or clover or something like that. It, it, looks it has a. It's under blue undertone. Shamrock. Shamrock. I'm pretty sure it was shamrock. And this is shale. Shamrock and shale. Shamrock and shale. So it is. It's a little scratchy. Um, I'm going to put a teeny bit of conditioner when I block it. Yeah, do that. Yeah. I bet you that will, I wonder, I mean, it'll probably bloom really nicely when you mm -hmm. do block it. Um, but I Rowan, mean, I, yeah. I, it's my first time knitting with Rowan. I bought her so once I before. The... I bought the Aran, like the Superwash Aran. Um, and I love the color. It was like this, this, Perfect matted like charcoal color. Uh -huh. It's perfect. Um, yeah, this is super lush. I was disappointed with the feel. With the feel of it. Yeah. I, well, I'm not disappointed. I wasn't impressed. I mean, it's knitting up nice. Yeah. 
It looks nice. It looks it's, um, and the stitch definition on it is really nice. Yeah, you know, you can see every little detail that you do, which is which is beautiful. You want that. So we'll see. I mean, it's a sweater. I always usually wear tank tops underneath anyway. Um, so we'll see how it feels when yeah. I block it. When you but, block anything, you block like this. This softened. Not that it's like it's my yarn, but it softened like a dream. Like I, yeah. I'm have it. It's on my bare skin, and I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. So I got that much done. Yeah. It's going to be nice. And Jamie's worried about the it's stranding, um, and I think she's going to be perfect. I don't she's know so about perfect. that. We'll Look see. at her. She's so <laughs> perfect. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. You stop, you. You stop. You stop. You stop. <laughs> um, How about you, Luke? Ah. This, this is in the mess that I just pulled out. Um, so I'm working on, I have no show notes. I'm working on um, uh, Stonewall by Alicia Plummer. And I did start it in the car on the way to Rhinebeck because that was the day that you were supposed to start it. No, I started it the day before. I lied. I, I started car. mine in the car the because I was back. afraid that like I stayed true yeah to our beginning date she did it so perfect <laughs> uh, I was afraid that like Ryan Beck was gonna like take over my whole week uh, like with like casting on new projects that I couldn't help and blah 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 so I gave myself like a 12 hour leeway so I started the day before not really important um hmm it's a bottom up which I didn't know so when I bought the pattern, uh, it was really funny. I don't think I read the description, like, at all. I bought the pattern, and I have knit an Alicia Plummer pullover before, and it was a top-down. Um, so I bought the pattern, and it told me to cast on a certain amount of stitches, and I was very confused. I was like, 100 and whatever, 50-something stitches, and I was like, that's a huge neck. Like, <laughs> how am I going to? So I kept reading it, and so I'm like, all right, let me, let me go back and see if, like, maybe there's, like errata, like like it would be the first sentence. So I'm like going back and I'm like, oh, everybody's, there's nobody saying anything. So I cast it on and I'm like, okay, so, you know, you want to knit, they want you to knit a large amount of ribbon. And I was like, wait a minute, that's weird. It took me like a really long time to figure out that this was a bottom-up sweater. <laughs> like I could have just read the description, but I didn't. <laughs> so it's bottom-up. I am, I'm a little off from the pattern, a little bit. Um, there's, I'm following somebody else's uh, modification instructions because I like the way hers turned out and I don't have that information in front of me. So I will put that up here. Um, basically just following her modifications the way she wrote them. So I'm working with Barocco Vintage, which has some acrylic in it. It's, a, it's not bad though. It's soft, and I think it's going to soften I when I wash it. my mom's in Barocco Vintage. It's not bad. It's not bad. I'm going to be able to throw this thing in the wash, and, and just, I'm going to be able to, like, wear the crap out of it, and whatever. Um, the color is called Wisteria. It's a brand new color uh, for Barocco. So I bought, I bought a whole bunch of it. And since... And it's purpley gray. It's course. a purple gray! Oh my god! Um, I'm going to stripe... I want to do this again, not with the whole thing, not with the cuff down here, but I will have the, I'll do it this way. I'm going to have, um, the cuff for this sweater has a thumb hole, so I'll do that in the wisteria, and then I'm going to do, um, some stripes, some stripes in whatever this is, gray, purple, gray, <laughs> yeah, my whole life is, is this right now, mm -hmm. so I'm really excited about that. Plugging along on it. I'm using, uh, what was I using? I'm using the Chiagu uh, interchangeable lace knitting needles in size 8 instead of 9. The pattern calls for 9. But I got the gauge with 8, so that's what I'm doing. Am I working on anything else? I don't know. I don't know either. Um... I'm working on Stephen West's <clears throat> Exploration Station. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have not touched it in like two weeks. But you guys saw that. I think you guys saw that already. 
I really didn't bring any whips. Like, I brought, like, zero whips, I feel like. And everything uses the same size. So- <laughs> every week, every single podcast, every single podcast, we hurt each other. Um, tis this. Tis these it's colors. It's cool. It's coming out cool. Um, I'm, like, shawled out. Like, I think we did, like, 300 shawls, like, this summer, and now I'm, like, all shawled out. Now I'm in sweater mode. So, this will be, like, I, I'm I'm supposed to have this done for uh, Volan Vines, <clears throat> the Yarngasm uh, Exploration Station along. Not going to happen. <laughs> when does it end? At the 31st. It ends, okay. like, next week. It's not going to happen. This will be, like, when I feel like it this winter. And then I'll have it for next summer. That's what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I have that little shawl I started, but I did not. Is it still a mustache? Else. It's still a mustache. <laughs> you guys see Jamie's mustache two weeks ago. <laughs> I can't look at it. <laughs> Why? Because I lose it. I have to pee. This is not good. <laughs> I was just going to say, let's take a break. <laughs> so I haven't worked on this at all. It's still a mustache. <laughs> So, yeah, I haven't, I don't know. I'll probably work on my sweater and cast on some new things, and it'll stay well, a little mustache for a long time. I feel like, um, I feel like, um, <laughs> we should do that with our shawls together. <laughs> I can't, really look. can't look. At it. When I'm, I'm editing this, I'm going to laugh my ass off, but right now I can't, because I have to pee. <laughs> Take a break so I can go to the bathroom. <laughs> so that's, that's what you made it all. Um... So why don't we make that like our winter, um, like our whatever we feel like it shawl this winter? We could do that. And Jamie and I will have just like a a like. It'll be a, a millimeter. I don't care. A week shawl done. along. Yeah, we'll one row like a week. A super lean back shawl along for the two of us. Yeah, I think that works. I really have to pee. But when we come back, I think we're gonna do um, acquisitions again and more. Yes. All right. Should I stop the tape? Or should I keep it running? I like that you called it a tape. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. I <laughs> okay, let's talk about, uh, I feel like, uh, our acquisitions. Oh, my God. There are so many things that we have that are new. And not just the stuff that we talked about last week. It's like, we have a plethora of new things. So many new so things. So many new things. Um, like, we have a plethora of new things. I didn't show this at our... Yeah, let's do. Um, we're, let's go back and do what we what you guys saw last week. Um, the lighting is a little better, and we will be able to describe the things a little better. So, what did we get at running back? A lot. <laughs> True well, story. I feel like it's a lot, but then I saw some pictures of other people's, and I'm like, oh my god, I got nothing. On the way home, I was like, I should have bought more yarn. I think you were sleeping. Your aunt was like, what did you do? I was like, I don't know. I should have bought everything. <laughs> I, was, I passed that on the way home. I was like, he's nap time. Go to my aunt. I don't know. Last week, we were like, yeah, we're only going to show you car stuff. Um, and then I had put like a little excerpt at the bottom that said, nope, we slept. Um, Jamie slept. I slept. I didn't sleep. <laughs> Jamie slept. Uh, and then my phone died. And I was like, what am I going to do? <laughs> I'm going to live. Uh, so I looked out the window, and it was nice. So what did we, it was, uh, so, damn it, what did we get? We got, where do we want to start? Start with this. All right. This Let's is talk about podcasters. podcasters. Yeah. All right, so, yeah, at Rhinebeck, um, all the podcasters met at the hill around 1 o'clock, and um, we dropped the ball because we brought no swag. No. I did not realize that was a thing. Um, I didn't realize it was something. I, I kind of knew it was a thing. <laughs> I, I knew that it was something that we should probably do. I didn't realize it was a thing, right? Uh, newbie podcasters. So yeah, newbies. Next, next year, year we're going to bring all the things. Yes. And I'm sad that we didn't bring things because there were people that we met that deserved things. Yes, and, um, definitely. We dropped the um, ball. But that's okay. Next year. Yeah, so we're have all the swag. One of the, a, a podcaster I met was Barbara from Flame and Fiber and she was handing out let's see it's better. these cool it's um, a progress keeper or a stitch marker. Yeah. Um, she, she made these herself. Yeah. That's glass. Glass. That's like she does. She's, she's a lamp, glass. lamp worker. Uh-huh. And, um, I actually, I watched her podcast. Um, all her information is on there. So it's Flame and Fiber podcast. 
I watched two of her episodes, and on the one episode, um, she actually has, she's making the beads on the one episode. Oh, really? It's cool, yeah. Like, it's, I know no, none of the terminology, so I'm sorry, but, like, she has the flame like this, and she has to wear, like, the protective glasses. The, uh, like, the and flame, the, the thrower, or whatever, the torch. I don't know. She, we don't know any of the words. We know no words. It's the fire. It makes the fire. The fire. <laughs> Thank you, she had the fire. She had the fire. And like the glass and is in like hot. a long tube, and like it, you know, you melt it in yeah, and you, you twist it's it. Right? Really cool. Yeah. You twist it, and, and I, it was really interesting. Yeah. Um, so she was handing these out. And That's I really was cool. Lucky and, enough to talk with her and get one. And you know what's funny? I like the way she talks. What was weird about the way she talks? It wasn't weird. I just, oh, for weird. whatever reason, the way she talked, um, she lives in Pennsylvania. I forget exactly what area, but she's from Pennsylvania. And I don't know, just something about the way she talked. I liked it. Did you like it? Yeah. Just, I haven't I watched the podcast, yeah. so maybe I'll have to watch the podcast. So I thought that was really cool to yeah. have on her podcast, like that she actually did it in her podcast. And I love how um, unique this is. Yeah. Like, for a free gift to give out to other podcasters to make aware of what you're doing and your podcast and... And, and it's, so, it's glass, it's shiny. That's really cool. I thought it was so And that awesome. color is amazing. It's so you. It's like so fire. Is it? If you turn it the other way, it looks like a flame. Like a candle oh, like, flame. Yeah, like this. I think um, she was flame. making them look like leaves. Um, but yeah, in this color, but either way, it looks I mean, like that's really a cool. uh, candle that's flame. A flame. But I thought it was really cool. It was different, you yeah. know? It's not something... Um, and noteworthy. You're not going to forget that. Yeah, you're not going to. You, you know, like, you're, you're thinking fiber and fleece and yarn and, but then this Art. was a cool, yeah, it was Art. a different skills. Yeah. Your thing. That's cool. So, I love that. I thought it was really cool. So you guys should check her out because it was interesting. Yeah. I was like, that's so cool. I, I would never do it because I would probably burn myself. Yeah. yeah. Like We're not allowed to five play with fire. Seconds, yeah, I would. My fingers would be burned. It's a fire. But it was cool to watch her do it. Yeah, oh, like, that's so cool. Um, but we also met on. Uh, see, we're going to talk. But these are new podcasters to us, uh, not new, yeah. new, but new to us. Um, Christine from Woolly Wonderland. Um, she was handing out these really cool, uh, little like six yeah. gram. Yeah, from the sip yarn from the lemonade shop. shop. Yeah. Simple sock in bad day colorway. And it's this was a, a cool fantastic idea. idea. Also, she was super sweet. Yeah, she was very sweet. She was wearing, um, oh, I know because I was like, what are you wearing? She was wearing the featherweight cardigan in Dragonfly Fibers, um, some gray, oh God, I can't remember. It was very Winter, nice. Winter Woods? Actually, I wrote it down. Because I was like, I'm going to buy that. Winter Woods. In the color Winter Woods. And I had to comment on that because it was absolutely gorgeous. She um, she was talking to us for a little while. She's super mm -hmm. sweet. I did watch her podcast. Love her. Um, she's adorable. She's got a great personality. And she does the podcast on her own. Um, so it would be very difficult for me to, or you to, I feel like, to do one on her own. I'd yeah. be like, that's weird. I, I need to bounce off somebody. She's great. She's great by herself. And I like her glasses. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was like, I like her face. I like her sweater. Yeah. Um, I, I did follow her on Instagram, I think, that day. <laughs> and she posted that she got engaged that day. So, Christine, if you're watching, congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. That's awesome. <laughs> and your ring is gorgeous. It's like a little twi it's like little twigs with little diamonds on them. Oh, that's cool. I was like, I'm so jealous. <laughs> I loved it. So congratulations, Christine, and her. you're adorable. Her. So yeah, if you're not watching her podcast, you should. I think she has, I forget how many episodes. Yeah, Willy Wonderland. Kristen B. Kristen, not Christine. Kristen. Sorry. Right? Oh, what? That is cool. She got like her uh, fiance, her now fiance, got something like, um, ordered something through like a ceramics company that said will you marry I, it was really adorable and i was like oh my god i'm so jealous of that whole thing <laughs> it, it's really cool looking congratulations Kristen. who else did we meet well we met um at the the meetup um we saw 
Sue and Chelsea. Of course, from Legacy Nets. We got some crazy... My new freaking favorite people. <laughs> Not that they weren't my favorite people to begin with, but now, like, they're really my favorite people. Do you know what I was thinking? I'm such, such a creep. Like, such a creep. The other day, I was like... I guess because, like, I haven't seen their podcast in a while, and I had missed a few of Sue's periscopes this week because I had I was had morning stuff that interfered. So um, I had missed her periscope, and I was like, I miss Sue. Mm -hmm. Like, how is it possible to miss somebody you've met once? There it goes again. <laughs> He's got a lot of energy. Also, I think we gave him munchkins. Like, yeah, it's a sugar. <laughs> so... He's just running around. Um, how can I miss somebody that I don't know? Well, I miss you now. Too. I know. Oh, my God. Uh, they're podcasting today, too. Are they? <laughs> yeah. How do you know? From Instagram. She's um, getting ready to podcast, and she took a picture of their right back hole, and I wrote, <laughs> us, too. Us, too. <laughs> Sue and Chelsea, thank you again so much for your wonderful gifts, your swag. I'm taking her out now. Just hold the bag up like this. Yeah. Yeah, so when they saw us, uh, Sue said, I have something for you. And she gave us, like, crazy, yarny, goodie bags. Yeah. So we got some Legacy Fiber Arts in... Sweater Weather. Sweater Weather, which is their, like, uh, Rhinebeck color or whatever. Um, and it's the Merino Nylon Sock Yarn. So this week I was like, what am I going to do with this? Not that I'm... But, like... I have to do something special with this because it was... Ooh, that's getting some crazy It was a there. gift. Yeah. That's okay. Let's see. Mm, okay. Oh, that's coming out nice. Better over here. Look at how pretty that is. So, do you know I what you're going to do with it? I thought I would do like a color work hat. Like a Fair Isle hat. Ooh, that would be cool. Yeah, because I have... I was thinking hat too because you know what? Erin really liked this. I showed yeah. it to her. She's like, oh my God, I really like that color. I think I'm going to make her the sock head hat out Good. of it. I don't see. I was thinking like I have so much. Um, That's my friend, by the way. <laughs> like dark colored, uh, like a dark colored sock yarn, like scraps. Mm -hmm. So I would love to do like something like that, like a fair isle, something fair isle. That would be cool. Yeah. Mm, perhaps. Also, we got some emergency snacks. I got like some butterfingers. Some candies. Is that a Reese's actually? It's a butterfinger butter cup. Butterfinger cup. And then they're little pins. Yeah. Oops, so the light. There we go. This was like above and beyond. So cute. Such a wonderful gift. And they were the sweetest people. Yeah. And they had their little unicorn horns on. Yeah, they did. <laughs> it was really cute. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I Sue does not live that far from us. I think if uh, I'm like already, I'm like planning on <laughs> Sue. We're gonna come visit you in Connecticut yeah. because um, well, we you know, know really, where you it live. depends where in Connecticut she. I said that weird Connecticut. She is because you could just. Take the ferry right over. Well, <laughs> it's funny you mentioned that. <laughs> you can't take the Port Jeff ferry. I mean, oh, you can. You can take the Port Jeff mm -hmm. ferry and go. Uh, but I think we should take, uh, we're planning our visit. <laughs> this is like the creepiest thing ever. <laughs> we're going to come visit you. Surprise. <laughs> <No>. um, <laughs> you know, we're coming. Like, so, um, <laughs> we're coming. Um, no, you take the, uh, the Orient Point ferry straight up. We're going to see you soon, Sue. Um, but seriously. <laughs> yeah. We're going to see you soon. We're going to see you. Um, thank you it, so much. Yeah, that was Because that was, like, thing. amazing. Amazing. Super sweet. What else did we get? We saw, well, podcasters. We, yeah, we saw did. Um, the Periscoping Sisters. Um, oh, not that not that I don't already know this, but like they're hilarious. Like I want to come spend time with them too, and they're in two different places, so I feel like that's two vacations I have to take now. <laughs> and Amy's in Georgia, and I love Georgia. Maybe we'll go to Georgia. We're coming for you too, Amy. We're coming for you too. <laughs> oh boy, all these people are gonna be like, oh, these <laughs> you know, we're gonna lose subscribers. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's all right. Oh, like you could see a little less. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so, back. To, oh my God! Uh, so we met them. Um, we I met we, oh, we have well we I say we. Little pin too. I drooled over Kristen from um, Volan Vine. Yeah, as well. I think we scared her a little. Scared her, <laughs> uh, which is fine. I scared Stephen West. She, okay, stuff we bought. Let's get that out of the way. We all right. So, so we uh, should we do it in the order we grabbed this stuff? I don't know. Does, yeah, go ahead. Do that. Okay. 
Alright, so we went to Rhinebeck knowing that you so-and-so was going to have some yes. bags there and that we were going to hit that up. So right when we get there after we met Stephen West. <laughs> Embar- um, I embarrassed myself. Yep. It's okay. I embarrassed myself and then I gave him one of my business cards. And I- so he's going to remember that I'm a weirdo. <laughs> that's how that's going to happen. Um, which is fine. <laughs> just, yeah, whatever. I just want to make my mark. Yep. He's going to be like, oh. It's an odd one. <laughs> This girl was weird. Yeah. So it's fine. Hi, Steven. Because <laughs> he's watching. I know. <laughs> um. Did we? T- all right. So what stuff we bought? Stuff we bought. That's what we were gonna yeah, talk about. Sorry. Stuff we bought. It cut off. It did. It cut us off again. So because I didn't delete uh, stuff from the iPad that I should have to make room. So instead of the iPad going, hey, strings and more, I'm gonna shut off. It just shuts yeah, off. It just shuts off. And we don't know. So we were talking for a few more minutes. We were talking for a few more and minutes. And then the screen started to fade and we were like, no, that's not We were like, oh, no. <laughs> and Jamie's like, did you delete the videos? And I was like, oh, my God, I'm such an idiot. I delete the videos every single time. I forgot. It's okay. So Anyway. Boom. Boom. <laughs> we stopped and we visited the um, mm-hmm. the stall that had the you so-and-so items. Because you have a sweater on mm-hmm. that. <laughs> so I got my first you so-and-so bag. Yeah. Yay, Shannon's got like Which, 1,500 saying, and I got one. Jamie doesn't own any. Well, she does now. I but do now. Jamie doesn't own any you so-and-so bags. And soon I will own two because yeah. I bought one and it's on its yeah. way. Jamie bought another one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Jamie bought another one. I bought uh, another one. My plan was to buy a sweater size bag. Yes, and they did not and have And they them. didn't have them. So I, And oh, we had sad. gotten there late. Um, a lot later than we thought. So they probably sold out. But, um, so I was like, oh, I'm just going to go on. Last week I was like, I'm going to go on tomorrow and buy a new one. Yeah, I can't make a decision. She has, like, a, you can make a wish list. So there's, like, five uh, fabrics that I need. So I can't make a decision on which one I want. Jamie has no problem making a decision. Nope. I've been staring at the same five fabrics for, like, a week. And I'm like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. I feel like this is a, a decision that somebody else has to make for me. Mm-hmm. Which is so we'll, sad. I'll pick one for you. Then I get that one. Yeah, you're going to just pick one for me. I Definitely. Like, I like the one with the clouds. <laughs> I like that one too. Anyway, so that's coming. Um, so yeah. So Jamie owns a you so-and-so bag. Yay! Yay. Um, so yeah, and then I have another one coming. Um, and then I think we mentioned that Molly Klein had yes um, a Christmas bag yeah. update. Molly. So I've got my eye on one of those mm-hmm. too. Yeah. And one of her stitch marker sets. All the bags. All of them. All the bags. All right, so at this point, I am, like, embarrassed to put bags like this on my Christmas list Mm -hmm. because I feel like our family is going to be like, you have all the bags. So bags are something that we just need to buy. Mm -hmm. I think that's just it, so that we don't embarrass ourselves Mm -hmm. any further. Yeah. And we'll just put other things on our list. Alright, so... We did watch uh, some other podcasts that had their Rhinebeck haul, and because I wanted to see what everybody else got. And we were saying this morning that all the podcasters got the same yarn. Yeah, like everybody From went the to the same, same dyers, and the same dyers. It's funny. It was hilarious. I was like, at least we have good taste. Watching, I was like, oh, I've got that one too. Yeah, oh, I've got, I've got one from them too. Yep. <laughs> I know. I was like, so it was really funny. So um, every single podcaster, I think, went to um, In the World, which is the into tag the world. Into I, I butchered it before, and I butchered it again. Into the world. Into the world. That's mine. It is seventy five twenty five yeah. superwash merino and nylon. And mine, and yeah. Mokina, it is called the colorway Mokina. Mine is 75-25 BFL nylon, which is my first BFL ever. Uh, Jamie and I basically got the same exact color, yes. like idiots. Whatever. Yes, it's slightly fine. different saturations. Sort of. I mean, like... It's close. It's, like, got the browns and yours has grays, so where mine has blues. Um... This yarn company is fabulous. Yeah, How it's come wonderful. nobody's ever I've, talked about them before? Like, I've it, never heard of them before. Like, where, where have we been? What have Into we been Into the doing? world. Into the world. Into the world.com. Um, um, also got fiber from them. Oh, my God. And I can't pronounce it. Intrepidity. Intrepid. 
Intrepidity. Intrepidity. That word. That word right there. <laughs> Intrepidity. Intrepidity. Um, yeah, they, they have like a, the, um, the names of the yarns are hard to pronounce. So I'm not going to try because I butchered it before and Look I'm just not going to butcher it. Is that gorgeous? So when we were in the booth, at that point I had not Beautiful. bought anything yet. So Jamie was like buying something from this booth, and, it was and I was so like, "Hard yes. to choose. There were so many colors I liked. Yeah, to get it was one. difficult. Oh, I wanted like at least five of them. Yeah, I was like, I like this one, this one, this one, and this one. I don't know how I landed on this one, but I love it. Just like I love so, ten million others. Jamie had this color in her hand, and then another color called radioactive, which looks similar to that, but in um, the scheme version. So she was like, you know what? I already have so many things that are this color, meaning." The radioactive color. She's like, I have to go some outside my comfort zone a little bit. So she bought this one. I bought this one, which is a little outside my comfort zone. I feel like when I buy hand dyed yarn, I'm like crazy color girl. This reminded me of like a fox in the snow, and I just couldn't help myself, so I got this. But Jamie went outside of her comfort zone, got this. So I was watching Sue from Legacy Knits again. I was watching her Periscope on her haul, and she bought the radioactive color. I was like, we're buying the same colors, almost. <laughs> like, I was gonna get old podcast was not the same thing. <laughs> so, I I'm just happy that we have good taste, guys, right? Yeah. I need to get pe- what what periscoping? periscoping sisters. No, 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 no. sorry. Um, periscope. 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 That's, that, that's, that's that. the thing that's live, right? Yes. I need to get that. Yeah. Well, um, so I can start watching everyone. I can uh, watch uh, the podcasts and their periscopes. A few of our viewers had suggested that we do a periscope while we were at Ryan Beck, and um, I do apologize that we didn't do it. Um, I don't know how to do periscope. Like I've never done a periscope before, and I thought that like showing you guys the beautiful grounds of Ryan Beck was the worst time to figure it out. <laughs> like while we were doing it, we we need to. Sit it just would, it wouldn't it have been out. good. Yeah. So. So we, we have to could, figure it we out. We can talk to people in live yeah. time. In live time. In the moment. In the moment. Yeah. That would be pretty I, cool. We wouldn't be able to edit ourselves. No. <laughs> which I'm, it scares me a little bit because we say a lot of, I cut out a lot of bad, I cut out a lot of embarrassing stuff. Yeah. Anyway, do you know what that's going to be? the world, go check them out. Yes, it's please awesome. do. Oh my God. You, you know what yours is going to be? Okay. I really, really, really want leg warmers. Oh. Like bad. And I feel like this is how I'm going to do it. But I also want leg warmers um, with, like, nomadic yarn, which I'm going to ask for for Christmas. So I don't know. I want leg warmers. I don't know what mine are going to be. I don't know how. I mean, I, I, can, I know how this is going to knit up. Like, you could tell how it's going to knit up. But I don't know how well that's, I'm, I'm going to love that for leg warmers. Mm-hmm. So we'll see. I'll start them out. I don't have a pattern yet. I think I'm just going to do, like, straight stock in that. Leg warmers. My two fingerless mitts. Because mm-hmm. there was a lot of that were just straight stuck in yeah. it that I liked. Yeah. So maybe do that in there. I'm so excited about this. And BFL. Which, BFL um, is a little, not, not uncomfortable, but the softness is not as, the softness level isn't as high as Superwash Merino and Nylon. So I feel like for leg warmers to go over leggings and like for my boots would be perfect for this Mm -hmm. because it's a little scratchy so I don't know how much I want it on my bare skin on my legs. So I think that would, I don't know, whatever, I'm going to make it, we'll find out. (laughs) We're going to find out. I'm so excited about this, I'm so excited Jamie's going to spin again. That color is out of control, beautiful. You got, I've got a set, my last spinning project, but I have a book that's going to tell me how to do it. Yeah. That's right. So I'm going to do that this week, too. I've got a lot of things planned this week. We'll see how many women get there. And that wasn't the only spinning fiber that Jamie got. Because no. Jamie's going to be spinning all winter. Yes. I got more. I got some fiber from Fiber Optic Yarns. Their yarn. booth was huge. Yeah. So they have a lot. They're really beautiful. This the was, color I got was Once in a Lifetime. This is the little card that came in it. So yeah. that tells you what it is right there. It's got silk in it. Ooh. This was the one we showed you last uh, episode that you couldn't really see. Yeah, you couldn't see the color um, because it was very bright outside. We had the sun shining on us. Yeah. And it, it, it just looked dark. <laughs> yeah. So you could see it now. The, this is very Jamie to me. Actually, they both are. I'm, I can't wait for that other one. Oh, my God. Look at how Look beautiful. Look at that. 
It's a little bit more purple than it's showing yeah, up it's here. It's showing so up more blue. It's like, showing up a little bit more sapphire. Like, there's purples in here. Yeah, when we pull like it up here, here and here. They're much purple. more vibrant than what you can see I'm not, I'm um, pulled it up. here. Is that a little better? Uh, I feel like it gets washed out. You yeah. guys know that, like, when we. It's much more saturated. Oh, you can see the purple like that. There. See? there it looks it more is. like that. This yeah. is beautiful. I'm so excited. <laughs> Jamie. Yeah, you can see when it's back here, you can see the difference between the blues and the purples. And blues Jamie's kids purple. go to school now during the day, like, for a couple of hours, so she's gonna have so much spinning. Yay, look at it. Yay. I love it. I'm excited. But they had a lot of nice ones, too. It's oh, it's so hard to decide when you're like, all right, I'm only going to get one, and then you want, like, ten. And well, when you have a 20-foot booth, you know, you spend an hour in there, like, yeah. go it crazy. Is, oh, so hard. Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't, you know what, I didn't buy that much yarn. Like I said, on the way home, I was like, oh, I was done. I missed my opportunity. Whatever, I can go online. <laughs> um, I hit a Primrose Yarn Company. I'm obsessed with her yarn and her Instagram feed. Um, I did plan on buying the colorway called Witching Hour, which I did get. But I thought I was going to get it in sock yarn. And when I saw it in this worsted weight, uh, 400 yard skein, um, I don't even remember thinking. Mm -hmm. I just grabbed it and I just like went in front of her like, yeah, do I have her? Give me this now! Like I was like, oh my god, I was crazy. Yeah, there's her. Look at that beautiful business card. Her business card. And She's out of control. Kelsey Stevens. Mm, I love this so much. So I'm going to stripe this with something. Uh, this has to be a cardigan. This has to be a striped pullover or cardigan or something. Um, there's no way that this can just be a scarf or hand warm. It, it, this has to be something, like, substantial. So I'm going to try to find a color. Uh, see this really, really, really dark in here? Um, or the color of my nails. It's like a really, really dark purple. I would love to do something like that. Stripe it with that. Yeah, that would look good. Yeah. So that's what this is going to be. I'm I'm so in love with this. You know, you like ah, you know when you get a yarn that you love so much, you're like, do I want to use this or do I just want to look at it? Yeah, you just want to look at it. I just want to look at it. And when I'm done looking at it, it'll be a sweater or something. That's all the yarn that I got at Rhinebeck. Oh, here's another little thing. Yeah. We really oh, yeah. visited Mrs. Babs' booth, and my mom got some yarn there, and she also got a set of stitch markers from her. And she gave Shannon and I one. So little, she was so cute. She's like, oh, pumpkins. something's online. She's like, your color's purple, right? I'm like, yeah. So she gives me this little pumpkin <laughs> stitch marker. And Jamie's is black. Little black. Thanks, Laura. These are adorable. They're very cute. There's so many, like, so many things. <laughs> so many things. This, is gonna, this might be a long episode. Oh, uh, we also got... I got a magnet from Into the World. Oh, yeah, I think you got two magnets and you gave me one because yeah. I didn't grab one. Um, I think this company's called Lanart. I don't know. I saw them at Rhinebeck last year, and I decided against buying something from them last year. And then all year, I was like, when I go see them, I'm going to buy something. I don't care how much it is, blah, blah, blah. Right? Um, and that's exactly what I did. I still don't have a name for him, but he is a needle felted alpaca. I had to get the one with the hat because, like, a dur, hello, look at him. He is so cute. So I, I bought him. And he's like, his little hat is like a little tie stuff. Oh my god, come on! <laughs> so, um, if you're easily offended, then look away. I said to the guy, I was asking the guy all sorts of questions about this thing. And I was on the fence, so I was like, oh, no, you know, like, where am I going to put it, blah, blah, blah. So he goes, okay, okay, look. He goes, they're anatomically correct. And he takes it from me, and he puts it in my face, and he goes, like this. And I was like, uh, he has a little butthole. <laughs> anatomically correct. Yeah. As soon as I saw that, I was like, sold! How much? <laughs> Take my money! I bought him because he got a butthole. And then he saw, I threw in, uh, or he threw in for free, this adorable pen with this needle felted alpaca on top with googly eyes. Look at this butt. I mean, 
I have to have all the toys. Mm-hmm. I have to have things to hold and hug and squeeze when I'm having a bad day. And that's what I got here. You guys saw all this already. I don't care. <laughs> that was the end of my purchase from Rhinebeck. So there were other acquisitions that we got during the week. Um, because evidently I couldn't wait for Rhinebeck. Jamie got this from Rhinebeck. I had one more thing. Jamie so has one more thing. We visited Gail's heart. Yeah. <gasps> Which, again. Her yarns are beautiful and never heard of her before. Like, I forget who I was watching. And somebody was like, oh, I've been wanting her yarn for a while and this and that. And I'm like, how do we keep up with... Like, I've never heard of her, but I was so impressed. Like, I yeah, was like, like, yeah. Her yarn I should have gotten something. I should have gotten this, but I didn't. But Jamie oh, got this. It's copper. It's so beautiful. It's I color. saw it. And again, something, it's not something I would normally grab, but I loved it. I saw it, and I was like, I need that. When you're at Rhinebeck, you're in the, not that, not that you don't love it when you get home, but you're really in the moment. Yeah, you're this, really, like... This, I'm here, I'm going to get whatever I want, because mm-hmm. I'm here, and that's what this is for. Yeah, so this this is 60% um, percent superwash merino, 20% yak, yeah. and then 20% silk. So yak is not a... It's 400 yards. Yak is like a gray, when you first, when you buy it undyed, it's like a gray yarn. So it takes the dye... Uh, with an under with an underpainting, you know. Mm-hmm. So this was so much depth in this color. Yeah, it's so it's, rich and beautiful. I love it. And so this uh, will probably be not doing a hat. it justice. Yeah, and I'm so happy there will probably be some left over. Mm-hmm. Hopefully enough because I want to use it as at least the cuff and the toes for a sock that I'm gonna yeah make out of this, which is something else I got from Gail's art. My first sock blank. So, oh, look, oh, look at those sparkles. sparkles. Beautiful. So it's, it's steampunk <laughs> with the little this like, gears and everything. Delicious. Look I, at that. And look at them together to stripe a little bit. Mm-hmm. It would be so cool. So, well, I think I'm going to do the cuff and the toes. Or whatever. This. To yeah. go with each other. My mistake. So, because it'll bring out the more golden hues yeah. in the yellows. So, uh, I like that the sparkles are coming out. Look at the sparkles. Oh, Woo. I love I'm it. I'm so peeled at myself that I didn't buy something from her. I'm going to go online and buy something from her. So, she had wonderful stuff. You guys need um, to check her out. So, the sock blanks, obviously, you know, you can knit straight from them. And um, the pattern will be a little different on whatever you knit. Or, a lot of people choose not to. A lot of people choose to use it as a scarf or mm-hmm. display it somewhere in their living space. When we brought this home, um, the boys they were so, were confused. so confused. <laughs> um, they were, they could it, not wrap their heads around it. First of all, um, we I made, mean, Rhinebeck was a one day event for us. So we left at yeah. 630 in the morning. We hit traffic. Um, we got to Rhinebeck. We stayed until like 10 minutes before they were going to kick us out. And then we came home. The boys, uh, meaning Jamie's husband, my fiance, my fiance's brother, and Jamie's son, uh, and Jamie's daughter, because <laughs> she's adorable, uh, decided they were going to have a guy's day um, because they're babies and they can't do anything without us. So they had to have a guy's <laughs> day. Um, so they made steak on the grill and whatever. Uh, they played video they games. They played video games. Um, and apparently uh, started drinking rather early yeah. in the day. Um, so we did have one sober adult. Matt does not drink, so oh, yeah. um, he was really the responsible that. adult. Yes. yes. There was one response. I wouldn't leave my kids home when I know. I I'm so glad that you said gone. that because that would have sounded really <laughs> terrible. Uh, Matt does not drink, so. Yeah. Um, my fiancé got plastered. Like, uh, like, I had said something to the guys. I don't think I told you. When I came, when we came home and I saw how bad he was, I said to Ron, I was like, why did you let this happen? <laughs> Ron's like, what do you want me to do? I was like, what is happening? What? I came home to this. Um, he was like, whatever. He was Ridiculous. Funny. He was she flying. gets mad. I thought it was hysterical. And you know what? I get mad it because his fil- he loses his filter. Yeah. It, so it a lot funny. of embarrassing things can come out of his mouth. And I'm like, he starts to talk and I'm like, okay, that's enough. Like... <laughs> <laughs> to bring your attention. We 
you think what, he's what hysterical and trying to say? Say? like, no. <laughs> it's very nerve-wracking for me. Um, he, he gets, he's funny when he's drunk, but I'm always like, oh my God, what is he going to say? Um, so anyway, uh, between the two of them and having quite a few drinks, we're so yeah. confused they by this They were both looking at this, holding it like, is it a scar from, no, you knit from it. But it's already right. knit. Yeah, they were like. So wait, so, <laughs> so you knit this and you're going to knit something else. Wait, you knit this and you, you made it, you knit it into this thing. And we were like, oh my God. <laughs> It's a sock blank. <laughs> it was so funny. I mean, like, no, it was machine knit. Someone didn't sit there, knit up the yarn, and then paint it. Right. It came like this. They bought it like this, but, and then they decorated it, and, they and were then like, we buy it and knit it. Right. It's already a thing. You would say you knit something. And then they were like, but when you knit, does the picture come out? Yeah. Like, no. What happens to the picture <laughs> yeah. when you knit? It was like, like yeah. I really wouldn't mind explaining this to somebody who was sober, <laughs> but explaining it to somebody who was very drunk, was so frustrating. I was like, who? So, so then Seth, finally I was like, just drop it, right? So like afterwards Seth is like, we're all talking about something else and he grabs it and he's like. <laughs> and he's looking at it and I'm, I'm like looking at him and everybody's talking and he's like, it's already a thing. And I'm like, <laughs> just drop it. <laughs> just drop it. It was funny. It was, Sorry, it was Seth, quite you're funny. Watching. He probably hears you downstairs like she's talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but it was ridiculous. It, it was anyway, quite this funny. Is beautiful. Yeah, this it, is going to be the longest podcast um, ever about nothing. Yeah, twenty one minutes, and then I don't know how much we had before. But um, her yarn and sock blanks are beautiful. Go check her she, out. She has some amazing. Things. I did go to her website because um, I was like, I was going to get something right away, and. There were nowhere near the amount that she brought to Ryan back. I guess well, because, obviously, yeah, it, it was all at Ryan back. Uh, it was all Ryan back, and you have a little time to um, put the stuff back in the shop and make new stuff. So, but I am dying. There were like four colors that I was like, I am gonna do some, I'm gonna drop so much money. I whatever, yeah. I'm buying something. Her yarn is beautiful. I think that was it for our Rhinebeck purchases. That was it for Rhinebeck. I really wish I had grabbed more cards to th thought of grabbing more cards so I could remember to go online and look at you everything. You're in the moment you're not thinking. No. Not you, anybody. Yeah, it's just you, you go there you, and you're just, just like, like, wow, wow, wow. And then like in the morning, it was so packed. Yeah. Like you literally get pushed through. So like you got to do it quick. Like yeah. you've got to think on your toes. You got to be like, if you want it, and you, you grab it. You can't, because you're so clouded with yeah, it. And, and also, you're just, like, so, like, it was my first time, so I know it was like, wow! I know, I was like, oh, that, right, that, and I'm like, it was my second year, so I, that, that, in awe of everything, was, was last year, so this year, I was like, okay, Jamie, let's, you know, I'm like, yeah. go this way! And she's like, what about that? I'm like, that's not worth it, we'll do that later, let's go over here! It was And funny. we still didn't get everything, I'm no. not an expert. Oh, that's Whatever. okay. Um, I spent what I brought there. She did. So. I brought and my rent I money. Got, I got I everything I, I needed. Yep. I did. had a list, and I got everything on the list, except um, I didn't get a color-changing yarn, a gradient yarn. But, you know, a lot of people have that online. Gail's art. She has them. And, you know, I have stuff to occupy me now until next year. <laughs> this is, There's no way you're going to use all of this in one year. Like, I have had one skein hey, we'll left from see. last year that I didn't use yet from Miss Fab's. Yeah. Because I don't know what I'm going to do with it. it. I was so out of control, like, what a weird purchase that I made that I was like, I'm never, I'm ever going to use this. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. Whatever. I have a couple of things that I got um, before Rhinebeck that yeah, I, I ordered I, before Rhinebeck that came in. So I, I have wanna... something I got before Rhinebeck, too. Do I know what it is? I th did I show you or did I tell you? I do know. I don't know. You go first. I'm going to go first. Okay. So um, one of my purchases was already on um, my sweater along project. So... I was looking for, I don't know, I'm having like this weird um, obsession with like the polymer clay progress keepers. So I have a lot of food because I love food. You know, I have like the super, super miniatures. Um, I have their cereal bowl. I have uh, the clay croissant, uh, her little cinnamon bun. And I just feel like, you know, I have the gnome knitter, little jammy dodger. I'm like having obsessed with it. So I was looking for more and I stumbled upon... Pitter Potty, no, I'm going to do this wrong. Pitter Patter Polymer on Etsy. Uh, she's got a lot of really cute um, foods, and she had she has things like like unique foods, like uh, banana cream pie, stuff like that. 
Um, so I was looking through her shop, and of course I came across this non-food item that I had to buy. I think I might even take her off because... Oh, there she is. <laughs> I'm going to take her off because it's hard to get her where I need her. Um, it is this little progress keeper fox, like, with this little gold heart. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. It was so autumn, so fall. I fell so in love with it, so... It's super cute. I made the purchase that I... It was, um... I, it was made to order. It is made to order. Oh, I'm trying to get it where, like, the light isn't blowing it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Sorry, mm -hmm. guys. I apologize. My nails are disgusting. So I didn't do my nails this week. Um, go visit her shop. She's got the most adorable... I, I, I love this. So I got this the week before Ryan Beck. I have no self-control. I was like, I'm ready to spend money now. So that's what I did. I also ordered from Tuft Woolens because I've been seeing her Instagram forever and I am like desperate Ooh, come here. yeah I was like <laughs> I'm desperate for her stuff um she is a handmade soap maker and like lotion bars and stuff like that so uh I'll put oh, I smell it right oh, I'll put <laughs> the information at the bottom it's out of control I got um this little hand and body balm comes in this teeny little like deodorant, like click thing, right? And you do this, and it comes out. It's it's blueberry or it's it's blueberry mm. lemonade, which is your husband's like favorite drink. Yeah. Like the ju we just had blueberry lemonade juice downstairs, and I was like, uh, yes. It's hard to get um, anything that like says lemonade or blueberry or anything like that. Or not blueberry, really the lemonade. I'm always so afraid it's going to smell like Pledge. And it doesn't. No, that one smells nice. This smells incredible. She's got um, a fall line right now that is, I think, limited. They're like fall kits. So it's what it, it's apple lavender, the new ones. So I'm like, uh, I wish we get my hands on that. So I bought that. This, I... I I'm so excited to use it, and so I don't want to ever take it out of the package at the same time. This is her sock soap, handmade sock soap. This is in the sugar skull, um, from her, in the sugar skull, like, flavor or scent or whatever from that collection. It's like a vanilla, caramelized sugar, like, I can't, I don't even know. There's, like, some other stuff in there. You lather it oh up and you God. use it to wash or your socks or like your handmade this items. smells delicious right i want everything mm. in the sugar skull collection that she's got that is wonderful i'm gonna get some more this is her packaging there th th this is beautiful i don't want to open it but i want to eat it mm -hmm. i'm curious to see what it looks like too it's not going to look like a regular it's like from the handmade bar so mm -hmm. it's going to look like handmade soap i'm trying to think uh it doesn't say what else is in it, but, well, it doesn't say what other scents are in it. But you, so you just, you lather it up a little bit, you wash, let it soak, take it out, rinse it off. Oh my God. I'm dying. Go see her. It's worth it. I'm, oh, and you're always so afraid to buy, like, scented things online. Because, like, people yeah, are like, yeah. oh, it smells like lavender. What does that mean? I mean, yeah, we know what lavender smells like, but what kind? Um, you won't be disappointed if you go see her. What else you got? This is so good. <sighs> right? I got, because uh, I knew I was going to rhyme back, so she knew I shouldn't have bought yarn, but I did. I bought yarn. Because... Whoops! Um, <laughs> I, yeah, whoops! My Butter fingers! Like, <laughs> I don't know how it happened. <laughs> um, Butter I'm, fingers! I've been wanting to make the featherweight cardigan. And, um, did you buy featherweight cardigan type of yarn? I did. Oh, did I show you this? You told me it was going to be these colors, and I was like, I did. those are, you already, all right. I already have a sweater that is going to be these colors. So I want to stripe three colors for my featherweight <gasps> cardigan. And I got knit picks. What are you, gloss, gloss lace? lace these three colors be you all right first of all beautiful second 
You do in those colors. I do in those colors. Yes, I, I am. Your sweater along. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it's the same yeah, color. I was making fun of Jamie. Because yeah. look. That is the same. Green and gray. That is the same. Yeah, we're going to... I have to apologize. We're going to apologize. Um, Our iPad keeps cutting out. We don't know where we were, so I don't know. What we, I don't remember. So... Pretty sure we left off with this, though. Pretty sure. Yeah. Exact same color family. Yeah. It's cool. I like green and gray. Cool. Oh, I was saying... I you can't say anything, Miss Purple. Uh, uh, purple and gray yarn. I was saying that... I had done the featherweight cardigan. Yes. Yes. Okay, so I had done the featherweight cardigan years ago, and it was huge. Like, I did the extra small, and it came out like a large would come out. Mm -hmm. So, Hannah Fettig is the um, designer, and I'm worried, like, I want to do another featherweight, featherweight cardigan, but I'm worried because I think that her sizes, like, run large. So... If anybody has done any of her uh, patterns or has done the featherweight cardigan and ran into that problem, please comment below and let me know um, what you did to remedy that. Did you make a swatch and, like, uh, black it and everything? You know, it was so long ago. I don't know if I was making swatches at that point. Maybe whatever you knit with, maybe it really grows. It's extremely it. possible that it was my fault. Mm -hmm. But, um... You know, just, you know, I'm just trying to think of things. No, you're gonna... you're probably right. But if anybody has that problem, let me know. And if you don't have that problem, let me know. I want to make another featherweight. Like, bad. And I remember when I did it, it was like knitting for the first time. And I was like, oh my god, this is over. It's taking forever. <laughs> <laughs> like, I felt like I had a thousand stitches on my needles. Mm -hmm. You know? Because it, like, comes out. I don't know. <laughs> I really want to make it again. So. Um, okay, so... I did order from Super Super Miniatures again because I had the problems. Did we? Did I talk about the fox? Was that on? Do you remember where that was? I can't remember. I don't know. Whatever. I whatever think, it yeah, is. You did because it was on the one of your projects. And so um you yeah. So we're at Jamie's house and I can't get um the videos from the iPad to YouTube from here. So we're having issues with the iPad and we had to shut it off. I had to. Go home, <laughs> upload the videos, erase them, come back, and as I we came back, Jamie was like, okay, where do we leave off? I'm like, yeah, you know, I deleted the video, <laughs> so I have no idea what we got and what we didn't get, so we'll figure it out, whatever, yeah. whatever, we'll figure it out, but I know that I did not talk about Super Super Miniatures um, while the thing was playing, so I ordered something for our sweater along giveaway, and I'm not going to show you that. <laughs> I'll show you that. But I did order, that I am going to show you, my special order kitty cat Halloween candy bag. I'm so excited about this. There's a low battery, see? It's telling me a low battery. It's because I have to plug it in. Uh, but yes, I ordered this like a few weeks ago and I, I was like really intent. I like ordered it the minute it went live. And... Um, I did get that in the mail, so I'm very excited. And my black kitty with her candy, uh, candy corn and her lollipop. And I don't know, it was like a week till Halloween. I don't care. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use this all year. I'm so excited. And I need more. She just um, released her notification that she has all her Thanksgiving stuff. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, that's cool. A little gravy boat. Yes, I need the little, little, little canned cranberry smush. On a plate, and I need that. So you need to check her out too. If you're new and you're watching this for the first time, then go to Super Super Miniatures because, for serious, that you won't regret. No regrets. I think that was the last thing that I purchased that is showable. Yeah. I think. Ditto. 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 Um. I do want to talk, uh, brief oh, you know what? I want to talk briefly about a shop update that I'm having, but along with the sweater along that I'm already making, the stone wall, what am I making? Yes, I'm making yes, the stone, stone wall pullover by Alicia Plummer. Um, and I should have looked this up and I didn't, but I also really, really want to make a pullover called Rachel. It's like an oversized, like flowy, um, 
boxy type of fingering weight, sock weight pullover. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to put it up and I'm, I would butcher it. So please don't listen to me. But the pattern is called Rachel. And I need some new colors mm -hmm. for the shop because I need new colors now. I have like three new colors like in my head that I need to make. Mm -hmm. So um, I did make this new uh, kind of tonal, semi-solid, lightly speckled gray, very light gray with a little bit of chestnut brown mixed in. I'm calling it Flint. And I think I'm going to knit Rachel in Flint because I really just want like a semi-solid something. I'm really ready for semi-solids again. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the speckle and I'm still using speckle greatly. Um, but I felt like for the cardigans and for large um, items like mm -hmm. solids, I'm in the mood for a solid. It's not really solid, but I'm in the mood for, I'm in the mood for like a not crazy speckle, right? So I think this is pretty good, right? Yeah, I like it. Um, I did do this, honestly, I didn't, I didn't tuck in all the, the, I feel a messy. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to be happy with it. It's a cool gray. Right? I need a gray. I need something that's like normal gray. <laughs> Good stuff. So I'm going to do that. Um, but that's also a new color that's going to be in the shop. So I have it on a couple of different weights and that's coming. Um, it looks awesome on the worsted weight. Like it looks amazing on worsted weight. But I'm not allowed to keep it because I'm keeping that. I also did uh, another cork color uh, that I'm going to put in the shop as well. And I have this on a couple of different bases also. So I'm kind of like toning down the speckles a little bit for a little while. Um, just for the new colors. I feel like, like there's a little bit of speckle in there, but this is predominantly like a pinkish purple. It's got some gray in there. And it has like a... Uh, this bluish purple in there as well, and a little bit of speckle. I love this color. Seth wanted me to make uh, the cardigan, not the cardigan, the pullover with this color. Aww. He was like, this one's better. I'm like, no, I really just want like a gray. I have so much purple in my life. It looks good, but I have a lot of purple in my life. So I feel like I want a gray. And that one's gonna say sparkle. It does, this one's a sparkle base. Um, having real trouble photographing the sparkle bases. Yeah? Yes. This is a sparkle base. You can sort of see it. Yeah, you can see it. All right, oh, there we go. You can sort of see it. I'm having a lot of trouble photographing it, so I don't know how that's going to work out. But this color is called Moonstone, and I'm going to have this um, within the next couple of weeks, I think, ready to be listed in the shop. Yeah. There's going to be more. I have more bases. I have a yellow base that I just made. This is coming to the shop, too. I love this color. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tawny. So that's coming. Yeah, do you have any news about your shop? Uh, no, not right now. Um, I just got a new yarn base in the mail. Yeah, Yay! she did. It was funny. We left the house. When we came back, it was sitting there on the steps. Yeah. I was like, see, this is why it's good to leave the house. <laughs> so it's um, a single ply fingering weight yarn. It's delicious. Um, it oh, I looks it. soft and scrumptious. So I will be dying on that, and I will probably make a few bags this week and my next shop. <gasps> yeah, make some bags. Mini bags. 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 It's like, oh, I actually All have bags. one here. So here's one of the bags. I love this bags. one. Actually, this is, I think I'll have two of these ones in there, if I remember correctly. Where's the you so-and-so bag? Oh they, my God, look, isn't that so funny? Color. How funny is They're that? similar colors. That's funny. Similar colors and similar print, not totally, but you know. Yeah, they're they're plant based. Plant based, little and pops of plants. That's so funny. Maybe that's why I was attracted to this. That bag. you were gravitated <laughs> towards that. Yeah. Look for some bags. Mm -hmm. Look for some of Jamie's bags. I do it. They're a little more padded than yeah, like the average I love bag. It. They're still like you know. I love it though but because they they're sturdy. They'll yeah, hold a they, lot. They stand up more. Yeah, yeah. they stand well, up. The rest all do. They all do. Up. Yeah. So you see some bags. They have one in the pocket. Yes. It's hard to tell with the black. I don't have mine with me. I wish I had mine with me. Oh. So annoying. Anyway. But that's it really. Yeah.
Yeah. Um, I don't know yet when the shop update will be. Um, maybe by the end of the week. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and if you're curious about my shop updates, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram because that's where I post, like, the date and time of the update. Usually in the morning I'll say, like, oh, it's shop update at 6. Um, so, yeah, that's really the best place to get that information. And if you guys have questions or comments about the yarn or special order requests, you can send me a conversation on Etsy. I try to get back to you guys right away. I'm like, damn, I'm backed up. I feel like I'm like a day behind. So, um, I, because I, because I let, I was like lax this week. So, but I will get back to you as soon as I can. And, uh, yeah, with that said, I think that we're done. Yeah, I think we're done. Yeah. All right. So, go ahead. What? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Do you, what? Jamie's going to say goodbye. I was going to say goodbye. <laughs> if you like us, subscribe. Yes. Um, join our Ravelry group. Mm -hmm. Uh, thank you for watching. Yes. And <laughs> we will see you next week. Mm -hmm. All right. Bye. Bye.